uh, this is the future rain uh, you know, coming in, uh, time traveling back, and just telling you that this entire entire list is not based on a um, on a ranking. So they just mods I like and the mods I think it fits in. So yeah, not a not a ranking. So number one is not the best. Number twenty is not the worst. So yeah. Alright, back to the video. That are way higher than before. 1,500 stack out. You can stack up to 10,000. And it reduces the weight of the item. So when you're carrying it, you don't have to pump 50 levels into weight just to carry it. Are you tired of not being able to see dino dinosaurs level from far away? Like that dude right here? Like, I want to see the light stroke's level, but I can't see it. Why? Because I'm too far away. And if you get close, if it's a T-Rex, you're dead. What do I do? What could I do? Oh, maybe I press F5 with Dino Bars mod installed, and you enable for Wild Dino and turn the view distance up. Oh my god, I can see the level of the dinosaur from further away. Wow, what an amazing mod. <laughs> That, that wasn't supposed to be sarcasm, but like this is an amazing mod to help you in early games to recognize dinosaurs level from far away in case that one allosaurus or t-rex hanging around your starter base from like 20 meters away and you just don't know what level it is because you don't want to kill it. it could be like level 150 180 you don't want to kill it great mod for that can you look at the number three on the list is the awesome spyglass. Now you already have dino bars. You want to see? You can see creatures from a decent size of the way. What if I want to see that track over there? I can't see it because even with my distance all the way up, I still can't see it. It's just too far away. Or like you want to see it in the water, but you don't want to jump in the water in case there's 20 million megalodons in there. What do you do? Oh no! I don't have this mod either. What do I do? You got the awesome spyglass. Same crafting recipe as a spyglass. All you have to do is press it, and you can see dinos from very far away. As far as your written distance can go. Look at that trike, I can actually see it now. Are you tired of the stupid long time it takes to cryopod a dinosaur? Like, it just takes so long. And again, are you tired of the time limits on the cryopod? And the stupid cryo sickness? Whoa! Don't have to worry anymore, cause you got the Dino Storage mod. Now you have to craft a Dino st Storage bow and a Dino Storage gun if you have, if you want to, or you can just go up to them, and boom! Instantly, it is back in. It is cryopotted, and or you can use the gun from far away, which is really good. That really cheap to make as well. So yeah, just make you vanilla enhancing experience. Better. And you can also throw them back out instantly with no cryo sickness. And you can even toggle them in your inventory. Pressing control. Talk to trike. Are you tired of having to click every single engram to l learn it? Otherwise you can't craft it? Well don't be sad anymore because we have auto engram. This mod allows you to unlock everything in that level by itself. Just pump your level in, and it will use the level auto automatically on whatever's on that level. See? Tech crop plot unlocked. Are you tired of the annoying power generator sound? Are you tired? of the stupid wire that goes around whenever you place stuff down the stupid wire well worry no more because we have S plus generator with the S plus generator all you have to do put the gasoline in no sound the wire shorter will you actually put stuff down no wires connecting and it is powered 
and when you try to hatch that stupid rock cricket that costs 20 earcons, now you only need two. Are you tired of having to reach all the way over there just to get the spark powder? Don't worry no more. You got the download. This has every single item in the game, including modded, and it's, you're not spawning things in, you just go spark powder. Oh, where do I have it? I have a 1500 that I spot Smithy. Let me just pull them over, and boom, you go that in your inventory. You don't have to go all the way over here and grab. Really good for metal runs. Number seven, we have the awesome teleporter. Now, do you want to go over there really fast, but you just don't have a mount or a fast enough flyer, or you want to go to get across the map, but just too slow? All you have to do is fly there once, grab an awesome teleporter, put it there, and teleport. And just grab this remote. Click on it and you can teleport all three teleport to all three terminals and the awesome teleporter you have to place down. So I wanna go over there. I'm actually not sure what trend that is. So this bubble everything inside this bubble will be teleported to this to your desired destination. You can uh, even rename it to be whatever it is and when you are try to Teleport you, tells you which one it is. And what if you don't have the tracker? All you have to do is press E. All you have to do is press E and click on the one you want to teleport it to. And just wait. Boom, you're here. And what if you want to teleport the dino with you? All you have to do is give dino a dino tracker. All you have to do is give the dino a dino tracker, let him eat it. And just right click, and there you go. You got a Triceratops Seven. Seven. Boom! It's here. So if, every single time we're in the pickle, then you can teleport your creature in to help you battle. Next up, we have the reusable plus mod. This mod, every single item in my hotbar, which is bowler, flares, boomerang. Parachute, spare, and grapple hook will be reusable. So if you want to grab this Lystrosaurus, boom, you still have another one. You can chuck another one, and you still have another one. You can chuck another one, and you still have another one. Infinitely use. Flares, you want to tell you where your friends are, but you only have one flare. Boom, just craft this. You get infinite amount of ammo. Boomerang as well. You can knock them out. You get an infinite. They don't. Of course, the only one you will have is the reusable one. So you can just reuse it. Reuse it. Or if you're tired of your spear breaking, just chuck your spear at something. You will never run out. Sorry. Or when you're doing a cave and you only have one grapple, what do you do? Okay, so there's a problem with this stupid ass grapple hook, okay? Do not use this grapple hook. I don't recommend this mod anymore, okay? Just because of this. Just this mod is great, just not the grapple hook. Because what happened is right after I shot it, was last recording and I crashed the entire game so do not use that do not use that I don't want you to crash your game oh don't use that don't use that anyway let's get on with the next mod oh no I died what should I do I will never be able to get my stuff back I died in the void what do I do the map glitched out. 
like Ark always does, and I cannot get my stuff back. What do I do? Don't worry, I got you. With this mod, personal grave mod, all you have to do is go up to your grave and recover your, cor your corpse, and you can even write your name on it. Look, me did. Are you tired of a Lonek doesn't do enough torpor to the Giga that you tried to try to tame? Won't worry no more. You got narcotic table. This is from the balanced narcotic mod. All you have to do is come into this narcotic table, get all the resources here, and craft a 30 cc tranquilized web dart. It traps the creature and it also knocks them out. This is not overpowered because the resources it costs to make a single one of them is quite a bit. So as you can see this is definitely not cheap thing. Definitely not early game stuff. Okay for example this bronze hole right here. Let's just say I want to knock this dude out. How much turbo does it have? 7k. Now normally that was a hundred percent. Uh, Lone Egg will take quite a few darts. But with this, just watch. One shot, 1.8k. And it traps as well, they can't even move. So you can maybe have your friend just trap it if it's like a Giga or something. Because it's aggro to you. Hopefully it doesn't aggro to your friend. And with that, four, five shots. And it's already knocked out. So it is very late game. And now we have the immersive taming mod. If you don't like the fact, if you don't like the process of knocking creature out using a gun and having to shove food up their butt and tame them that way. Now this is a more immersive taming, obviously. So it's more immersive and you do more contact between creatures and the player instead of just knocking them out. So let's just say I want to tame this little 100 dollar right here. What I want to do is just put off uh, taming food which is berry bag which you craft from the food base station and there's also kibble base station and trophy base station. Now ki kibble base is self-explanatory, you just put kibbles and for trophy station, this is more for bigger creatures like Gigas or Rex. Now if you want to tame this, just put in your zero slot and press zero. You will not eat it, you will just throw it. The dollar will get like a, a, a aggro and then it will just come eat it and it will be tamed. Obviously if it's like a high level creature and they, um, they require more food and they require more more they require more action between you and the creature itself okay the next mod we have the human NPC this is a mod for people to have who has don't have friends like me <laughs> anyway so um this mod adds like NPCs to the game where they wander around, kill dinosaurs and possibly fight you and if you wave your hand they don't attack you. There we go. You wave your hand they become bin chilling, yes. Right anyway, um so this is pretty much they have a chance of this spawning. Yeah you have to say hi to all of them in case they just start fighting you. As you can find structures like this uh spawn all over the map. Whoa, 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 buddy, calm down, man. I'm trying to make a video here. Jeez. Hey, 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 that rock is getting close to my face. Calm down, mate, calm down. Jesus. Who shot that? Okay, just to wait. Alright, so anyway, so there could be different variants of structures in different tiers that can spawn around the map. And NPCs will be around right it. They could, they just protect that place. And then in here, this is sometimes it could be a storage box. 
the contain slew, but if you open it, everyone's gonna be angry at you. Wait, did I change that? Wait, what? I swear they get angry at you, because I just did it, and then they got angry at me. Okay, and I get- oh my god, why am I getting frame drops? Sorry about the frame drops. Anyway, so... Yeah. You get quite a bit of good loot in here, like the veggie cakes, honey, medical brew, yeah, it's absorption, substrate, yeah, there's all good stuff. So if you say hi to them, they become friendly now. The next mod is actually for the DLC players, unfortunately. Um, if you have the extinction DLC, then this is for you all, like, if you spawn stuff in, but yeah. So this mod is called... Permanent Titan. Now I know there's a. What the hell? I know that there's a mod. Uh, there's a setting that allows turns down um, Titan feeding. But this actually happened to me where I was playing PvP. I tamed the Titan, right? And I just. I went outside, so I just left my PC on, went outside, came back, and my Titan's hunger is already down. To like half but I actually had food in it okay okay wait to get that okay right. so sometimes it could be a bit glitchy so the best way to do this is actually just using this mod right here so all you have to do is just get one element I mean by the time you have time the element isn't really a problem anymore so you can have the life compressor and a life extender kind of self-explanatory so if you want the titan to last longer, just feed them the extender and on the top right corner, there will be a life extender thing and then if you don't want it anymore, just chuck in this one and it will no longer be permanent it will just start food start slowly draining down For the next mod, it is my favorite creature mod out there the Arc, the arc Editions Now this mod this is just amazing. That's all I'm gonna say. It adds creature to the game that is uh, very high quality, probably better than vanilla creatures, and they're just very good. Like, for example, the one we have is like Brachiosaur, big Brachiosaurus, sorry, Acrocanthosaurus, and Concavenata, Paralophosaurus, and more. I'm not gonna put all of them here. Just, just a brief showcase. And with the new update of the Savage Acro, I, I made uh, two videos on that. I'll link both of them either in the description or on the top uh, right corner. So yeah, this this is definitely a great mod for people who want something new. New creatures, new abilities, and just really cool stuff. And they all have... Um, unique taming method for example the brachiosaur you need to wait for it to stand on its hind legs and shoot its leg with guns until it drops down check this mod out now next up we have the kraken's better dino mod this mod um, inc um, makes the creature in arc more interesting and give them more abilities or like just m make them better in general for example the one of the most uh, noticeable one is like the spider. N not really, nobody really tames these things, but like, yeah, just for the sake of it. So, you know how normally spiders can't really do anything? They don't just do this. And with the Kraken's Better Dino, if you right click, you'll see on the top right corner, this is climbing. Now they can actually climb up walls like that, which is really interesting. Like the rock tricks, and you can just like scale up walls like easily like that, you don't have to go around they should be able to do that An another noticeable one also if you're wondering well, why am I so fast because I pump up move movement speed on this thing just speedy uh, if you another noticeable one is uh, when you're riding a rex and then you go through a small body of water it won't like it won't just start swimming straight away it'll actually, the water has to be above um, his thigh, uh, upper thigh, in order to start swimming. So, with smaller body water, it will, it will go go by faster. Right, for the next mod, and we have monsters and more. This mod currently only has four creatures, unfortunately, but 
they do have a lot planned on their Discord server. So, the only four creatures I have right now is the Carcharodontosaurus, the act their own Acrocanthosaurus, and the Ceratosaurus, oh, and this um, Tsush, Tsushinoko, which is like, I think it's a Japanese name or something. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's a snake. I don't know really what this thing does, because um, I haven't tamed one of those yet in my survival world, solo survival world, obviously. Not in the series, not on the channel, just my solo playing world. I have tamed all, all three of these though. This one, they're all really cool, I guess. They all have different abilities and really interesting. Especially the Acrocanthosaur, it's more like a Arsoplura plus Acrocanthosaur plus like, like a Sabertooth Tiger mixture. Interesting though, very interesting. So yeah, this mod, highly recommend it. They're, they're all really high quality, so yeah, really interesting. Check some out. Let's go walk off this cliff. Whoa. Oh no. We took a lot of damage. What do we do? We have Dino Healing Brew. Now, this is a mod that allows you to create this Dino Healing Brew to heal your, your dinosaur. Any type of dinosaur. It doesn't have to be Haruwa like the Veggie Cake. Okay, so with this in your creature's um, inventory, they will automatically consume this item if their health drops below 80%, which is great if you try to fight bosses. And uh, it was a 20 second cooldown, and you can also force feed them that will heal 20% uh, of their health within. 10 seconds over 10 seconds of time and has 20 second cooldown so it's not really OP but it's actually quite OP for you know, bigger creatures so yeah. the next mod is for people like me that don't want to breed for mutations because it takes so long that this is why we have breeding evolved this mod it's really small but it just makes your life so much better once you have um, a male or female, obviously, that's how you breed, if you don't know. <laughs> so what you do is you obviously turn them on breeding, enable mating, and enable mating. And when the baby that pops out, no matter it's twin, triplets, or just one, no matter what gender it is, it will always have the best stats from both parents. So for example, this one, the female, has better health, but the orange one, which is the male one has better melee. Now the baby will have the better health and the better melee. So you don't have to breed for ever to get a perfect pair. Or if you want to just, you know, just breed for bad good stats. So here we go, the egg is now hatched. Now this could still have a potential chance for mutation, so don't worry. You can see this one has the good house and good melee. Obviously, this is not just based off luck, okay? This is actually uh, the mod working. If this so, the next mod is for the people that likes cooking. And this is definitely PvE. PvE. <coughs> Me? Alright, so uh, this mod adds in. Uh, farm more far farming items in into the game. Uh, this the this uh, station which you craft everything in. So in here we have by the farming seeds. You can craft all the seeds in here. You can see aloe aloe vera. I can't pronounce that. Wheat, wheat. Um, <clears throat> right. Anyway, a beet seed, uh, lettuce seed, uh, was generic seed, which is the base material on crafting every single different types of stuff. Which is interesting. You can also use these to cr uh, to make arcs arcs cinematic. Like if you have a village, then you can just use these as a decorate block, which is really interesting. Now I'm not gonna put seed in it because it just takes way too long to grow, and I can't be bothered doing uh, waiting all that. So yeah, you guys can figure the rest out yourself. Oh, and I forgot to turn them off breeding. It, it doesn't matter. Right. Anyway, so all the food, and then with all the stuff, you can craft food. 
that's wrong one. Whoops. That also oh, this also works as a um grill, industrial grill. And cooking ingredients, you know, you have all the salt, you can craft with uh, a stuff you grow. Uh, you can craft foods and I believe they actually have um their own different types of um what do you call it? Abilities I would say. Like for this one, it restores 350 hunger points in, tr in the period of 10 minutes, which is really good. This one is 250, this one basically mutton but way longer durable. Yeah, so you just a lot longer lasting mutton. And yeah, interesting. Just make them yourself and see what, what you can do with it. Now, last but not least, we have the Unnerf Shadow Man. Now this is a great mod for PvE players because PvP players get all the nerfs and stuff and then they yeah but PvE players come on we don't really care we're not fighting anyone it's not OP we're just playing by myself uh, all the nerfs and stuff because you know it's PvE what the and so this mod makes it perfect anyway end of Shadow Man what it does basically uh, uh, basically it increased every single stat that nerfed some but the one thing that they did not able to do is put the armor back up to 124 which is a sad but still they're quite OP so one of the things they did was uh, this th th was this attack uh, they nerfed it so you can only do 7 creatures but now it has been increased to 15 once you use this mod and um, the jump range is also increased. So they can jump a lot further than what they could have after the nerf. Like this is that is quite far from all of it over here to over here. Yeah. And then they also decrease the um, timing after using each ability down. So yeah. Everything is pretty much just better. Yeah, you can have somewhat of a old shadow main, like uh, the days when they're OP, what they still are. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, <laughs> egg stack. <laughs> I didn't turn it off. One, two, three, four, five eggs. All right, keep going. All right, so if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give this a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.